Hi, so before we start, could you introduce yourself to me? Uh, okay, my name is Nguyen Bot. Uh, I'm 14, 14 years old and I am studying a secondary school mm -hmm. called Cycling Up. Okay. And I live in Hado City mm -hmm. in Hado Province. Okay, wonderful. So we're going to start part one of the test. So, did you ever have a favorite teacher at school? Mm, yes, I have a favorite teacher. He is a math teacher. He is also a, a comedian in his it is his right right arm hand job. Uh, he always tell us a job after the lesson and I really love him. Oh that's nice, okay. Um so what kind of things did they teach you in class? Mm. This teacher of yours? Uh, he teach us about math mm -hmm. and also sometimes in the when the lesson is over he also Tell us about some about history or geography. Okay. Do you like hearing about history? I'm yeah, sure. I really love his advice. Make me feel feel the story more in interesting. Okay. Okay. And uh, what do you think your school could do? To, uh, what What do you think your school could do to improve to become better? Mm. Uh, I think. School tire, then some some of it has has broken and it cannot use anymore. Even the warm up, even the water tap in it can cannot provide water anymore. Okay, okay. Um, and I think we improve in the, in the next year when I have some money, I will donate to the school. Okay. Is this a common thing in Vietnam? Do many people donate money to their school? Uh, no, not actually. I think some only like three or five years of time have, have uh, some rich man come to our come to our school to donate uh, a, a big big amount of money to have our school to improve the uh, equipment, the school equipment. Okay. Do you know how much money this man donates to your school? Mm, I think it is about a, like a billion dollars. A billion dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Okay, wonderful. We're going to move on to part two now. Um, Ah, okay, right. So, continuing with the theme of school, your questions will be about an educational journey. So, I would like you to describe the journey you made when you learned something new, and you should tell me what happened on the journey, what forms of transport you used, how you used to get there, and how you felt, and what you learned. So, I'm going to give you one minute to get ready now, and then off we go. Okay, right, so you'll have to talk for two minutes now. I'm not uh, going to talk to you. Okay, okay ready? Off you go. Uh, an education journey I'm talking about is when I experienced the army life. Uh, well, it was happened about last month. I go, uh, it was held by, me, by my school. And I go, go, go to it by, by the coach with the classmate. Uh, it was a long journey, so I would have car sick 
sick and it was really bad. But when I get uh, when I get to there, the the atmosphere made me feel better and let me. But at that but at that moment, well, when uh, I meet the uh, captain, uh, yes, the general, mm -hmm. he he was a a, st a street guy. Mm -hmm. and he he tells us he is a uh, guy he is a guy to tell us what to do to in in the group and and we have. Every day to experience about the army life, uh, it was really strict and hard. But sometimes um, it has some fun activity like uh, catching a, a chicken, like for us for entertaining. Or uh, we have a foot, football tournament, but, and in in the end, and, and I learned how to to live like the soldiers and I think in the future when like I I am eighteen I will when I am eighteen years old I think I will join the army to help the country. Okay, okay. wonderful and perfect timing. Okay, great. So um, I'm gonna set another timer now for three minutes, okay? okay? And I'm just going to ask you general questions about education and school, okay? So, um, you said you have one teacher that you really like. Yeah. Apart from him, do you like going to school? Mm, yeah, I still love to go to school to meet to meet my friends. There are some friends that are really far from my home, not close to my neighborhood. So mm -hmm. I, and especially I have a best friend that live really far from me, like fourteen kilometers from my neighborhood. So. Him. And the only place that I can meet with him in the school. So, and another reason is apart from my math teachers, I also love my history teacher. He also a good, good storyteller. Uh, just like my math teachers, teachers, he tell us about some. Uh, he tell us some Vietnamese mythologies. And when lesson over, and uh, uh, and that's all. That's all. Okay. Yes. No problem. Um, do you uh, do you think that school in Vietnam is too difficult? Mm, I think it's quite difficult, mm, especially in in the Vietnamese and Mart. They they are they mark the. Uh, the market point really strictly, and and they uh, mm, even the par parents just want the, the kid to learn to focus on the Vietnamese and art and not mention some so some social skill like like communicate. They, they just focus on the main subject at the school. They don't uh, really mention about like like the physical. Like PE or, or the, uh, uh, yes, like PE. Okay. And uh, how long, uh, how many more years do you have in school before you graduate? Mm, I have, uh, I'm now at uh, secondary and from now, from now to when I'm graduating, I think I only have four, four years left. Okay. And um, many people say that so many people say that going to university is uh, very important for young people. Do you agree with this? Mm, I uh, no, I don't agree with this. Uh, my my no, my uncle from from the past past my uh, yeah my uncle who doesn't go to the university is still be a really well be a well man. And he even cool. had a company. Hey, okay. Well, that's it, we're all done. Uh, would you be able to hit stop recording, please?